kona kila kitu baka eh, anaonekana baka kwa CCTV akiingia kwa nyumba sasa hiyo ndio imetusaidia eh, but kuanzia saa hii tumejua In a chilling development, the apartment manager has shed light on the individual responsible for the tragic murder of a 24-year-old woman at an Airbnb located along TRM Drive. This horrifying incident follows closely on the heels of the murder of socialite starlet Wahoo at a different Airbnb in South Bay, a case in which John Matara is the primary suspect. The apartment manager deeply affected by the tragedy has come forward with key details about the person who booked the room confirming that it was a male individual she said <laughs> She also provided a detailed description, focusing particularly on his height, which she carefully observed on the CCTV cameras installed in the building. The manager's account is expected to play a crucial role in the ongoing investigation, aiding law enforcement in their pursuit of the suspect. Further revealing her attempts to reach the man after the gruesome discovery, the manager expressed frustration and concern, noting that his phone was switched off, effectively cutting off any direct line of communication. No majaribu kumwongelesha kumpigia uone atakwambia ni nini ilitokea. Simu yake komteja. Eh komteja. This detail adds a layer of complexity to the case as it suggests a possible intent to evade immediate detection or questioning following the incident. Regarding the suspect's identity, the manager cautiously shared available information. While the specifics of what she disclosed remain under wraps, likely due to the sensitivity of the ongoing investigation, her input is invaluable in piecing together the events leading to this tragic event. The identity of the young lady who lost her life in this heinous act was also a topic of grave concern. The apartment's manager, while expressing her condolences, provided insights that might help in identifying the victim. Na umejua identity ya huyo msichana ambaye ameuliwa? Hapana, sikujua juu kijana ndio alichukua nyumba. Eh na sikujua. Unajua sasa watu wengi wanafanya maoni, yani mtu anachukua nyumba anashinda kwa kufanya maoni, yani kwa hivyo zishughulika. Eh. So msichana ndio alikana kwa wazi. Hapana, ni kijana tu. Dunia alichukua nyumba si msichana. The details she shared are being treated with utmost care as authorities work to notify next of kin and ensure that respectful and proper procedures are followed. This case has not only sent shockwaves through the local community but also raised serious questions about the safety and security measures in place at Airbnb properties. As the investigation continues, there is a growing call for stricter regulations and oversight to prevent such tragedies from occurring in the future. This is a developing story. Continue following the Kenyan News Channel to get more updates.